Hey guys, I'm Jerry Mitchellock and I got something a little bit different today. I've got Benelli's M4 shotgun. So what that means to you is, back in 1999, the Marine Corps adopted this as their semi-automatic shotgun platform. So, give you some ideas about it. Weighs about eight and a half pounds, 18 and a half inch barrel, ghost ring sights, seven in one capacity. And I know what you're thinking, shut up and shoot. So let's run that plate rack and we'll talk about it again a little bit more. Here we go, left to right. Oh, we're empty. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. Semi-automatic, two and three-quarter inch, three-inch chamber. It's got a three-position adjustable buttstock on it, which is kind of unique. It also has a pistol grip stock. This is their military law enforcement model. Civilian can't buy it, unfortunately. What can I say? It's Benelli through and through. It's been adopted by, I think, 21 countries now as a semi-automatic platform, so... Let's try to do something a little bit different. To give you guys a little bit of insight and actually what goes on internally here, this M4 has what they refer to as their auto-regulating gas system, which means to the user, there's basically two pistons that's mounted right under the chamber. And when you fire a cartridge, those escaping gases go right to those little pistons. And those pistons come back and hit the boat carrier with enough energy to send it to the rear, of course, make the, make the whole platform cycle. So that was kind of unique to the M4. It also does not have a trigger disconnect. So if you get really fast on the trigger, give you an idea here. Several shotguns, several manufacturers have this feature. If you hold the bolt open a little bit and pull the trigger, the, uh, the hammer strikes the bottom of the bolt. That keeps the firearm from firing with the bolt out of battery. So it's a safety feature. Downside of that, now I have to come here and cock it manually to get around in the chamber. So one thing a Benelli does too, guys, is when you pull the trigger, it feeds around out of the magazine, so I know what you're saying. You got ammo, you got one in the chamber. Let's shoot that center target six times. Make it seven, I got a whole mag here. Seven rounds, target in the middle. <laughs> Yo-ho! <laughs> First thing that was apparent to me, and I don't like a pistol grip. I'm just not comfortable with it. And the other thing I don't like, when you hang a bunch of furniture on it like this, you have to pick your head up to see the sight. So I had to pick my head up and that kind of caused it to go a little bit to the right. Other than that, it performed great. What can I say? Let's try something else. One of the things about the collapsible stock that you see here, it's got three positions. A lot of guys who use this, this platform, they have a lot of body armor on. So you can shorten the stock to accommodate the offset of the body armor or the heavy clothing. This is a Vortex Razor Red Dot on it. Uh, the Picatinny rail is made for that, so you can shoot a slug, kind of accurate. The peep sights to me on a shotgun is like I've never seen anybody quail hunting with peep sights, so I've got that mentality. I like my shotgun like, like a field gun, like a traditional shotgun. Uh, the military has a different view of what they want out of a shotgun, so this is aimed primarily at military and law enforcement guys who use shotguns in a different format, so... There you have it, guys. Let's, I've got some more ammo in it, and I know what you're thinking. Let's play a little bit more. Let's go two left and two right and see what kind of transition time we can have there. Two on the left, two on the right. Oh, I ought to try that with the safety off. <laughs> All right, two left, two right. It didn't take a whole lot of time to get there. <laughs> well, it took 25 one hundredths of a second. But there you have it, guys, four shots on target. I know what you're thinking, I've got a shotgun on a rifle range. Well, this thing is set up more like a rifle than it is a shotgun. I've got a Vortex Red Dot, this Picatinny rail, all these doodads and stuff. So we're going to shoot it like a rifle. So what I've got down range is my MGM C-Zone target. And I've got three rounds of Fiocchi, one ounce reduced recoil tactical slugs. So I'm going to have, I'm going to have a tactical experience here. Let's see if we can shoot a group on that piece of steel and see what it, what it looks like. 100 yards, here we go. Left shoulder. Dead center. So there you have it guys, three shots, tactical shotgun, tactical slug, let's go look at it. Okay guys, that was three shots at 100, that was the first. So I came over a little bit, it got a little bit of a win. 
That's one thing about a shotgun slug, it's about like throwing a brick. So if you got a little bit of breeze, it's going to throw it pretty far. So according to that wind flag, we had a little bit of wind. So I came over and shot the next two. So that's where a red dot really comes in on equipment like this, if you need to make a precision shot. So there you have it, guys. If you are a Benelli fan, this M4 might be for you.